Okay, can we talk about the squishiness and how cute this little, little, little bag is? I almost wanna like bite it, it's so cute. back to the channel my name is Jenny we love handbags on this channel we love talking about it we love doing comparisons hauls reviews anything and everything related if you guys love stuff like that please consider subscribing and if you're not following me on Instagram please give me a follow again I just love posting about things that I personally love so with that said let's just hop right into the important part of the video which is on this bag right here now this is the coach mini tabby 18 i believe that is the name it's the it's the small version so if you guys remember and i can drop the video below but i had the bigger version of this which was the pillow tabby is it 28 oh man is it the 28 i can't remember the exact name i'll pop it over here um i love that bag but unfortunately i did sell that bag because Although it's not the size that was too big, I just felt like it was too bulky for the size, if that makes any sense. It just didn't look good when I put it on. It didn't look good on me. But ever since then, I still think about the bag. I don't think I will want to bring it back again because I don't think it fits my like style per se. But that is why I picked up this one because it is squishy and just as poofy, but in a smaller size, which makes it so much more usable for what I'm looking for. So... You guys know I've been on this like green kick. So I love mint green. I love forest green. I mean, honestly, all shades of green. And I just thought this was the cutest color. And I think this one is called, is there pistachio? This one is the silver hardware. I still have the tags on because I just got this in the mail. Silver hardware, pistachio. And this is in a lambskin leather. So it's that soft, squishy leather has their typical like coach um hang tag that's squishy just like the pillow and it has a top handle a cc or sorry this is not chanel a c for coach right here and it's magnetic also it comes with a crossbody right here i still have the plastic on because like i said this just got in so like I said, this was just delivered not a few days ago, so I haven't actually used the bag. But in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, the pricing, where I purchased this bag, what fits inside, um, how you could style it, you know, things like that. So let's just hop right okay. in. Like I said, it is a crossbody, a top handle. I mean, you can wear it many different ways, and we'll look at that in a little bit but I purchased it because I just wanted like a squishy bag. Um, as you can see, I have a thing for pillow bags because I do have my Coach Madison. Again, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will drop it below. I've been using this bag so much. I really, really like it. I like it more than I thought I would. I was a little bit unsure, but you guys know I made a top handle out of this. If you guys want a more detailed, dedicated video, drop a comment below. I will show you how I made the top handle and go through you know, the details and what fits inside and everything like that. But today we're gonna focus on this cutie over here, but I just wanted to bring my Madison over to show a size comparison. Do you see how much bigger this is? To be honest, this is probably more functional but this is just so like adorable, if you know what I mean? Okay, so opening up this bag, again, a close up. If you open her up, and it comes with a dust bag, and it's two compartments. So the difference between this and the bigger size is the bigger size, the middle part is a zipper, whereas this is just a divider. So you have your back pocket with this like coach um, Creed and then the inside has like another pocket slot and then you have the front portion of this So it is a tiny bag and I think the purpose of this is just to like carry your essentials um, And nothing really more than that and like I said, I've actually never played with this bag. So let's do it together. So Right now, this is just a phone case an old phone case and I wanted to show if it fits but this does fit up to a 12 pro max so I don't know about the Android phones, but I do know that um, the iPhone does fit. 
but just know it will be a really tight squeeze. So if you were to put your phone in here, that's gonna take up probably the whole front area of the actual bag. Um, and then you can use the back area to put more things. Now, this little pocket over here, you could actually slide your credit cards in right over here. So if you didn't wanna carry a wallet, I don't think you need to. Um, but again, it's more of a preference thing. But if I were to put in my card wallet that fits along with the actual phone, and I can still probably fit like, I would carry like um, sanitizer, like wet wipes. I like to carry my AirPods around. Let's see if that, see if that fits right there. I would usually carry some sort of sunscreen. So yeah, again, like you would just have to play around with it, right? It's not like you're gonna be like a quick, easy fix, but here's the lotion. You notice a lot of these things are pretty flat. I would wanna carry eye drops. Uh, yeah, this won't even fit. So I would say like, let's see if this even closes. Okay, this closes. So that is the capacity of this bag. So right now, here is what the inside actually looks like. Now, realistically, I don't actually, I know I'm one of the rare ones that don't carry their phone necessarily in their bag. I like to keep it in my back pocket. Occasionally I'll put it in my bag, but let's say I didn't carry that. So then it releases this front pocket for me to put whatever else I want. And I would like to carry a sanitizer if possible eyebrow pencil, eye drops. Um, I would carry like a little powder thing and then a lippy of some sort. So that actually all fits. And that's honestly all I would need. So for me, the size is small, but it works for what I'm looking for because I don't carry a lot in the days I need to. I have my pillow Madison, I can do that with. You can see here, it doesn't really bulge. If you look at the sides, still looks okay. And again, here is what the inside of the bag looks like. So I actually think the size of it is fine. Um, I think if you're looking just to carry your essentials, it's totally, totally size. fine. Let's put on the top hand. Let's put on the um, straps and see. So for the straps, it's just, you know, a little thing like this. You just hook it over here. I wish the sides, it was like, uh, you know my Fendi baguette? It has two rings over here. One is for the top handle, one is for the strap. I love how they designed that. I wish other bags would follow suit. Um, you guys know I don't like long crossbodies, so I'm going to just adjust this to my liking. So I would put it on the shortest, which I don't, even the shortest is not that short, I don't think. So here it is with the strap. Actually, the shortest, I just tried it on like in the mirror really fast. The shortest one actually does hit not bad either. I'll take some moth shots and I will throw it up here. But yeah, like I think it actually is fine for what it is. All right, let's go really through fast. Initial pros. I actually think this bag is super cute, really well designed. Love the top handle, this. I just honestly love the color. I've been waiting for a color I love and I thought I would love the lilac one, but when I looked at it with the like the pewter um, hardware, it just didn't like speak to me like I thought it would. Um, I just didn't like the two like together. I know some people love it and don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bag, but I just personally didn't like it too much. Now I'm not, you guys know I like gold more, but for some reason I think this like light mint color and the silver just works together and it just makes this bag like super adorable and I just love the size. Um, and I know it's very poofy and I don't like bulky bags, but because it's so small, I think it works out well. Now, I think the con of this bag is not necessarily for me. I think the size is fine, but I think for some people, they probably wish it'd be a little bit bigger so you can fit your phone and the essentials versus like either or. 
And then also, like I said, if there was two D rings here, one for top, one for that. I just think it will be designed well. Um, and I guess the, n the other negative is because of the nature of the lambskin on these bags, you do get like, this is Napa leather, which I believe is lambskin. You get the crinkles here. And I don't think, yeah, like that. And I don't know, like over time, if those will get worse, but I don't think this will go away. Um, I think it's just the natural, like, you know, leather. So some people, it bothers them. I don't really mind too much. Um, this bag does retail for $3.95. And this one is um, in store still. I believe it's a limited color and they came out for their summer collection. But I think it's still like on the coach website. I'll drop all the details below if you guys are interested in picking up this bag. Now let's talk about pricing for a little bit. Now, I still think $3.95 is fair because if you feel this bag, it's made really well and it's very substantial, just the bag overall. However, like personally, like I just don't know if I would pay the full $3.95 and that's probably why I haven't picked um, this bag up. The reason why I picked this one up is because I saw on Saks they were doing a sale. So Saks had this bag going for $200, I think like $75, something like that which is still not bad, right? Because the original price is $3.95. But I was like, oh, like I want the bag, but I didn't want it that bad, if that makes any sense. So I was like, well, let's just see, you know? And then I think like a week later, I saw it on Saks for $171, which is really great. And you guys know I love Rakuten and Rakuten was doing cash back. So I partnered those promo codes up and then I got this back for under two. So to me, that's like a really, really good deal, um, especially for this quality bag. So I really like it. So when my thought process of getting this bag originally is because I saw this go on sale like the minute I bought the Coach Madison. Um, I'll just return this one when I get it. But then when I actually saw it, I fell in love with it. So now I have two and I don't really need two bags, you guys. I think I have a bag problem. I just have too many to get through and I don't need that many. Um, so... I have to keep this. I started using it, which I, you know, which is totally fine. But I guess my question for you guys is, what do you guys think of this bag? It was such a good deal. Should I keep this one or should I just bring her back? Because again, like brand new, never used. This is the first time looking at her. She's really cute. I just don't know if I need to. And I do have a lot of mini bags already, whereas I don't have as many like this medium sized bags. So I felt like this was made more sense to add, whereas this one is just like a more of a want situation. And I'll be honest, I've been really bad recently. I picked up so many bags and which I will be sharing obviously with you guys on this channel. None of this, uh, the reason why I picked some of these bags, they were more because of pricing and not necessarily because of anything else. Um, because I don't, I want to be more careful with my money. But some of these bags are just like either limited or hard to find or just really good deal. I just couldn't resist a good deal. And when something is hard to get, like the FOMO kicks in for me. <laughs> so I will be sharing with you guys um, on those. This is the bag in question right now. So as much as I think she's adorable, I just don't know if I need her. What do you guys think? Keep, return, Help me out, let me know. I do love this one though. So you guys, that is pretty much it. That sums up my video for today. And again, it is on this cutie over here. Um, again, like if you guys are considering this bag, I definitely think you should get it. It's such a cute one. Like I said, the only reason I'm hesitant is because I just have too many bags at once that are really unnecessary for me. So I just need to probably do another vlog sale on my personal bags. If you guys are interested, drop a comment below. But I have a ton of bags that probably still have like tags and stuff that I just don't need. So I need to probably release some of them so I can, you know, keep bags like this. So... 
that is it my friends that is all i have for you let me know in the comments below do you guys have the pillow of any size you love it hate it let me know your thoughts as always and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you in my next one bye